Uh, I don't know. Is this worth playing the OSU uh, coach? Let's give it a shot. But yeah. his, uh, what's what's his, his deal? Uh, well, Mike Gundy there uh, enraged at Carlson's column. I guess this guy's name is Carlson. Old son of a Gundy. He did a uh, column on former OSU Mark starting Gunderson. quarterback Bobby Reed that ran in the Oklahomans uh, Saturday morning edition. Carlson made reference to Reed's attitude and toughness. Gundy perceived the column as a personal attack against his player. Hmm. I'm not going to talk about football today. I'm not going to take a question on this game. I'm going to talk about this article right here. If anybody hasn't read this article, I don't read it. This was brought to me by a mother of children. I think this is worth reading. By a mother of Let me tell you why I'm talking about this article. <laughs> children. Three-fourths of this is inaccurate. It's fiction. And this article embarrasses me to be involved with athletics tremendously. And that article had to have been written by a person that doesn't have a child and has never had a child that's had their heart broken and come home upset and had to deal with the child when he is upset and kick a person when he's down. Here's all that kid did. He goes to class. He's respectful to the media. He's respectful to the public. And he's a good kid. And he's not a professional athlete. And he doesn't deserve to be kicked when he's down. What exactly happened? I mean, there must have been an article. I'm guessing it was a high school player. Uh, uh, college, right? Uh, OSU. OSU. Uh, is that college? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have yeah. the article? Or no? The article. I don't, know I don't know who's working at this point, Jimmy. Okay. So, uh, Sorry. There's an article. I had to bounce uh, somebody from There's the, an article or, that was written, right? What happened? I don't know. It was some kid who seemed to be 10 years old. So oh. I had to, you know, bounce. bounce. Of course you did. Bouncy bounce. Bounce him and give him your own private email. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anthony at FisherPrice.com. <laughs> Fisher Price. So, so. Osh, gosh, bagosh. <laughs> uh, so, wait a minute. There was an article written, I'm guessing, about. Calling a quarterback a pussy and claiming that the quarterback's mother was feeding him chicken in public. Oh. Was that a local sports writer because the kid had a bad game? I mean. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like it. Here's yeah. more audio. If you have a child someday, you'll understand how it feels. But you obviously don't have a child. I do. If your child goes down the street and somebody makes fun of him because he dropped a pass in a pickup game or says he's fat and he comes home crying to his mom, you'd understand. But you haven't had that. But someday you will. And when your child comes home, you'll understand. If you want to go after an athlete, one of my athletes, you go after one that doesn't do the right things. You don't downgrade him because he does everything right and may not play as well on Saturday. And you let us make that decision. That's why I don't read the newspaper. Because it's garbage. And the editor that let it come out is garbage. Attacking an amateur athlete for doing everything right. Good for him, he's, man. He's pissed. Fucking A. Well, don't raise a fat... Pass dropping fucking kid. Hey man, teach that little cocksucker <laughs> to catch a pigskin. That's a good point. I stand corrected. Fuck that fat boy in his mouth. Mom should feed chicken out of her pussy. <laughs> Put a drumstick in your twat and feed that fucking fat nothing you raised. Is OSU high school or a college? That's a college. Oh, he's a college I, th I swear I thought he was talking about elementary school. Because that's the only time that someone should have been that upset about yeah, someone's little, child. I'm, yeah, I'm a little confused because like football guys, it's football for are, the love of are known God, for being pretty tough. To yeah, with, so. did the kid come home crying? Yeah, that's why. I, I I think if I was a player, I'd be like, hey, coach, shut the fuck up. Yeah, hey, coach, you really make me look that I'm, I'm dealing with on my own here. I don't need you to fucking, you know, announce it to the world. Fucking kid <laughs> crying. Kid comes out with fucking KFC crumbs on his shirt. <laughs> his greasy chicken eating fingers. He dropped the pass. Should be throw off the team. Here's then more. mouth rape. Talk about him crying and 
Yeah. You know, he cries all the time, but he should be crying because I've seen him in the shower. He's got a small dick. <laughs> right. <laughs> he says, what? What, coach? You're going to attack an amateur athlete who happens to enjoy the company of another gentleman? <laughs> Sure, he takes a dick up the ass every so often, but he tries out there to play ball. You know what it's like to have a child come home and cry, Dad, I looked at another man's genitals and mine stood up straight. <laughs> you don't have that in your life. You don't know how disgusting that feels and how badly you wish you'd kick that bitch in the stomach on month three. <laughs> you going to criticize an amateur athlete who happens to like another man's genitals in his mouth while his mama feeds his chicken? So what? He can't catch a pass. He can catch a load like nobody's business. <laughs> he can catch it in the hands, mouth, or asshole. I'd like to see you do the same. Black, white, Chinese, or Jewish. He'll take anything. Any hole, any load. <laughs> That's why I don't read the newspaper. I use it to clean the load off that boy's back when he hasn't been able to take it all on his backside. But he tried. He does everything right. Wow. He's respectful. You take that cock out, he'll kneel politely in front of it. He doesn't ignore the balls or the taint. He goes right for them. <laughs> People disgust me. <laughs> He's disgusted with the news. We'll blow up the kid's spot. <laughs> uh, that's funny. There's the angle. Here's a little more. <laughs> and then you want to write articles about guys that don't do things right and downgrade them, the ones that do make plays. Are you kidding me? Where are we at in society today? Come after me. Oh. I'm a man. I'm 40. I'm not a, I'm not a kid. Write something about me. He almost said I'm not a or pussy. I'm not a pussy. That'd be that fat boy you wrote about. <laughs> and the only pussy is his mouth, because he likes the other players to use it as such. That's his business. <laughs> it's a new day and age, ladies and gentlemen. You don't think I want to call him a faggot whenever he walks in? <laughs> and I'm not permitted to do that. He dropped a pass. We all know his hands were slippery with chism. <laughs> and it wasn't his own. <laughs> it was chicken his mother had been feeding him and jism his friends had been feeding him. Chicken jism. That's how he got ready for game. You can't downgrade him. Coach, I got a question. Sure. Uh, is it true that you're trying to make him into a wide receiver? <laughs> I won't go for any tawdry humor at the expense of the fat faggot in question. <laughs> you will not laugh at his expense. Tight end, sir. Is he a tight end or a I'll accept that. I don't know. I'm a 40-year-old man. I'm not a pussy like... You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, pussy. He almost said that. <laughs> I've never taken the seed of another man into my mouth or ass. The fact that he has and is obsessed with it is his business and his mama, who apparently cries to a lot. <laughs> Cries like the bitch that he is. <laughs> oh, shit. Something about me or our coaches. We're writing about a kid that does everything right, that's heart's broken, and then say that the coaches said he was scared? That ain't true! And you know what else is broken? Then, his heart and his anal virginity. <laughs> if boys had hymens in their assholes, his was busted a long time ago. <laughs> He's doing everything right except playing the game because he drops passes like a fat chicken eating faggot that he is. <laughs> we weren't sure we were going to do this story today. Uh, Fucking that's coach, great. coach Jimmy rolled. <laughs> do the players get shirts? <laughs> Well, most of them do. He gets a dress, and that's his business. He does everything right, except catch the ball and run with it. <laughs> but he's good in practice. <laughs> oh, he's always trying to be the center. I don't know why. He said it's just a comfortable way to stand. <laughs> and then to say that we made that decision because Donovan was, because he threatened to transfer, that's not true! He's never going to transfer. He's always going to like dick. He can't go from <laughs> dick to pussy. He didn't make that threat. Coach, put me in or I'm going to start licking pussy. I said, no, son. I like the way you work your mouth on the balls. Go on in right now. Don't make no transfer. Right. <laughs> so get your facts straight. Oh. 
And I hope someday you <laughs> have your child, facts straight because he ain't. <laughs> downgrades him and belittles him, and you have to look him in the eye and say, you know what? It's okay. They're supposed to be mature adults, but they're really not. And if you can't look him in the eye, look at the back of his head, because that's how I tend to see him. <laughs> look into his brown eye. <laughs> Who's the kid here? Who's the kid here? Are oh, you kidding me? Jeez, he's trying to get off. That's all I got to say. It makes me want to puke. <laughs> Unlike him, who never spits it out. <laughs> that kid can swallow. You think Rod Stewart had gifts? <laughs> It makes me want to puke. Just the thought of that bleachy substance in my mouth. <laughs> but apparently not him. 